Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Slojo and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a Cyberpunk 2077 themed Twitch overlay and then probably maybe accidentally, totally non-intentionally leak it for free. Link in the description. It also includes a female version which you can see here. With the working files that means you have endless possibilities. You can take it, you can tweak it, edit it, change it to however you want. You can also take the elements and import into After Effects, whatever program you use and animate with them on top of them or using them. Well, let's get to the video. All right, let's get into it. So I'm gonna be using Photoshop. You can use any program that you prefer. The principles will technically apply across the board. So first things first, let's create a new artboard here. I call it artboard. I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080, make it 300 DPI. And I'm going to call this Cyberpunk 77. Bamboozle Slam Goozle. So one of the first things that I wanted to do was make it a minimalistic design. So what I really drew inspiration from was their YouTube channel. Their YouTube channel, their thumbnails had really cool creatives and elements. So I'm just going to use, it's called the snipping tool on Windows. If you're on Mac, you can obviously shift control F4, I think it is, for your screenshotting. So what I'm going to do, I am going to literally take a screenshot of their thumbnail, so edit copy, and paste it into Photoshop, right? So this is what their thumbnails look like. Really great, really simplistic. And I am quite the minimalist design. I prefer minimal design myself. So do you know what I'm gonna do, right? Check this out. So I'm gonna take it like this, and then I'm gonna stretch it like this and create pretty much a similar design. So, well, actually I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit here to about here. make selection and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull it with that there so essentially what we got is this so I dig it I can always make it bigger or smaller however I want it to however long I want it to be so bamboozle so what I'm also going to do is quickly pull in an image of the game because obviously this is the part that um, is going to go over the gameplay so you have to kind of see what it's going to look like so I'm going to pull this image in and I'm going to expand this. And so you see, you obviously want your viewers to have the best possible experience. And I really believe going minimalist while gaming is the best way. And the, just the best experience for your viewers. So I'm just going to do that. And what is a nice trick that I've really been enjoying is just changing the opacity of it. So that when there's like movement or you're gaming, they can still see what's happening underneath the layout. It's a... Uh, uh, what I've been, it's, it's similar to what I've been doing for my gameplay with, as I've been doing widescreen but also full screen and just having like my text at the bottom. So this is just something that I've enjoyed. So I'm just going to duplicate that quickly and just have just a little bit of a layer and I want to bring it up. Well, actually, let me just do this up here and just to the left and then just do this. And then I'm going to make this layer like red let me just change the color overlay and i'm going to set it to their red boom now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold control and click on this which is going to bring up i don't even know what you call it I forgot what you call this but i'm just going to add a mask to it no to this one this one and then i'm going to command control i command i to invert it and that way, basically, if I got rid of it, it does that. So there's just going to be many elements for you guys to pick and choose from for what you would prefer. You, know, you could literally have this and <clears throat> you could put another layer underneath it or pretty much this layer underneath it at like a much lower opacity. And oh, I think that actually looks pretty nice. And then um, Chuitos. And I'm not going to hit save yet, but... Now we're just going to do the camera border and figure out where we want it and also how we want it to look. Now, I don't like designing shapes in Photoshop. I know you can, but I love Illustrator. I think for me, Illustrator is amazing because you're creating objects that aren't going to pixelate as they expand and as you make them bigger. So I'm just going to create a, just a random size here and I'm going to actually design my camera box inside of here 
So when I first want to do Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, why not consider liking, subscribing to show some support to the channel. And hey, question of the day. What's the worst thing you've put on your Twitch stream? Maybe it was an alert, maybe it was a sound that you forgot to remove. But hey, let me know in the comments. The worst thing you have put on your Twitch stream, be it overlay, sound alert, or whatever it is. Take an image that I saw that I really liked and paste it into here. And... I'm going to be using this as inspiration very similar to how I how I um, did the previous one. So what I'm going to do is my mom is cooking. You know, usually I'd be mad at the sound, but my mom never cooks. So for once, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> so anyways, let me just pen tool my way into this. And then basically if I do this, and if I open up my Pathfinder, I can connect them all like that. There we go. Now we have a bit of a border, it's quite minimalist, so I can take literally the exact color of this. And I'm gonna bring this into Photoshop. Boom. Now we have our camera. So you see how easy Illustrator is to use? And uh, you can make it a thicker if you want to. You can, boom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it. And what I'm going to do is zoom in slightly and just bring it in a little bit. Bring in a little bit more there and a little bit more there and a wee little bit more there. Boom. I'm going to set it behind you. And then I'm also going to make this not drop shadow. I was going to make it color, make it red. So it kind of gives it like that 3D, 3D ish vibe. And, um, yeah, so this is one of the ways you can have a very minimalist uh, layout. You can literally take this. Uh, let, let me actually, this is this, this is this, this. Nope. This is with this. I'm going to just group it so that you can move it lower or higher. You can flip it if you want. You can make it to wherever you want it to go and say to wherever. So if you want your Wherever you have your camera, you can move it here, you can have it up here, you can have it there. And I just wanted something very simple, very slick. So let's start adding some elements to these. So what I love about Illustrator, right? Or if you may be using Coral Draw, I don't know what else you'd be using. You can literally, um, let me just take this, create these lines <clears throat> within here like this. And let's set it to black. And then we create another line. So let's go here. And create some more lines over here. Boy. Boom, boom, boom. Go and create some more lines. I can create however many I want. And you can essentially just take these lines and then copy it into Photoshop over here. Uh, if you say smart object, then it's just going to, it's not going to pixelate. And you can just use them throughout your design however you want them to look however you want them to be and they add like a nice subtle touch to everything as well increasing the size of it what i'm going to do is i am going to put them within this group so that if you want to save this group as just a png or change it up you can you have that ability too so let me actually just make this uh, i want to do a long version with this where it's all very teeny tiny I'll bring this in, smart object, bring it down here. Now, obviously all of this is gonna be according to your preference. You can change within Photoshop. If you have Photoshop installed, I'll make sure to link everything either in the description or in the top comment or in the comment below. So just look there for it. You can change this if you want this to be full opacity or not. Actually, let's keep that as full opacity. And, um, you can decide whether you want this to be full on art, uh, like there or not. Okay, so now let's see what else we can add. So we've got our camera border. We've got a bit here. Now, 
let's see if we can add any icons for new followers or for um cheers and all of that so so some of the things i recommend doing is playing with the elements so if you want to change colors you can just simply right click on it go to blending options and click color overlay so you can select it if you want black if you want white you want red you know you can do a whole bunch of stuff there as well and you don't want that at all yeah this is okay so for the follower icons and the geo icons and all of those i am going to make one which i'm going to duplicate throughout and i think i mean how cool would it be to actually have the main character as an icon so what we're going to do is i'm going to open up illustrator and i'm going to painfully pencil him so So, that only took me like a minute. <laughs> it was so quick, of course. I'm gonna bring that icon in as a smart object and we're gonna bring him down to here. Boom. Now you can have this here, and then him here, and then him here. And you can move him around to wherever you need him to be. and I'm pretty happy with that let's see how it looks and hey guys there you have it hope this video added some value to you hope that you enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for the future videos coming your way so next time guys peace out